Bush won vice president, he never met before. Uh, you, you are trying to use the email or could call to approach this investor. And uh, or, uh, if I, I'm trying to approach this investor, what I should do is maybe I can uh, write down my business, uh, business model in the email content or just uh, talk with this investor. Yeah, so le let's address that with uh, um, Point number three. So somebody read that. Okay. What this means is that your goal um, for every interaction is to get a meeting as opposed to getting money. So the first email is about getting some time to just talk, right? Um, so for that, you have to use your own judgment. Everyone is different, right? What do you think is going to get someone to respond to the request and meet? My judgment tells me oftentimes it's the size of the impact, the scale of the impact. The uniqueness of the approach, size of the impact, and the team. Like you have some pretty unique qualification that I might want to take 30 minutes to meet with you. So you need to emphasize that. And don't do these long emails. I mean, people don't have time, right? And even when you see long emails, you probably don't read them all. So think of investors as sort of the same boat. Yeah? Okay, good. Um, it fits on one screen. <laughs> that you don't need to scroll. <laughs> yes, please. So this is a good question. Uh, this is email. In fact, we should have a whole class on, um, if you haven't had it, right? Uh, growth hacking or email marketing. The timing of that is important. I might watch a video if it's like I get an email on the weekend when I'm just catching up. But I'm not going to watch an email, uh, a, a video if I'm catching up on email when I'm sitting in the meeting, right? So the timing of these emails, when people get it, and and there's all kinds of theories about when you send emails, how. Um, so I would, that it's worth investing a little bit of time to study. And if you find out, share with your classmates. Because there's, there's, there's a science behind this, right? What I'm telling you, um, the, um, the strategy can be drastically enhanced by some modern email marketing techniques. And I hope you guys have taken a class on, or w w we have given you a class on growth hacking. Not, not yet? Yeah. Growth hacking? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? Did you touch upon growth? Hmm? Um, so, I'll, yeah, point number four. So this is the idea of uh, not keep asking people for, for money, right? Money comes naturally, right? So there's a deal momentum, right? It means you tell people what you're going to do and you do what you say you're going to do, right? And you keep doing that. And then there's an opportunity of financing coming up. And that um, round of financing may become um, unavailable to other investors, so investors would start thinking, well, even though he didn't ask me to invest, it's clearly there's a round of financing, and if I don't act, it's going to disappear. So there's deal momentum, right? And also, if you sense when people, is, uh, when people are pushing your investment, they themselves have processes inside their company, and so, so you kind of see if they're filling out paperwork or going to investment committee meetings, um, those momentum kind of sort of push itself. So, so ask subtle questions to figure out like where they are in terms of decision making and just let the momentum take, take the deal itself versus you keep pushing. Because by sometimes by you, most of the time by you pushing doesn't help. Right? People are busy. People react to competitive pressure people um, may have internal momentum that just kind of keep them going. And once the momentum keeps going, you don't need to do anything. It's just going. They may want to do the investment more than you do. 
Because if they already spend time convincing their partners they should do the investment, let them do their work. Make sense? Okay, let's keep going.